Go. The Psalms 104, no, Psalms 119 and 104, through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. That's right. That's right. Go ahead and yeah, that's a false ass way, man. That, yep. that moves and shit. All right, that's why you seen the spirit turn up over here, man. All right, and Jake can't. Jake, uh, Psalms 119 and 104. Jake can't never uh defend their own shit, man. It's just like when uh the so called white Jew come up here, man. All right, we get to yelling and screaming and getting scriptures, and they never can say nothing, man, because they don't have no understanding, man. All right, so you niggas out there with your idol, cause that's what it is, idolatry. All right, that shit ain't gonna last, cause you can't even fucking defend it, man. All right, if you truly believe in something, even if it's false, you know what I mean. Gotta dealt with niggas like that to believe something real heavy. They fight for it still, nigga. They don't even know it's false. They fight for that shit. You niggas don't even fight for that shit, man. And it's, come on, man. Niggas is Go ahead, read that. This is Judges chapter ten verse thirteen. Yet ye have forsaken me. And serve other gods. Where for? Let me see. Where you at? 10, 13. Where you at? Right here. Get this brother a flyer for me. I'm my bag, Bubba Kasha. Oh, wow. Bubba Kasha. Uh, okay. Is it a black pole? Yeah, it's in that black pole. Oh, yeah. Yeah, read 10. And read on down. This is Judges chapter 10, verse 10. And the children of Israel cried unto the Lord, saying, We have sinned against thee. Both because we have forsaken our God and also served Baal. And the Lord said unto the children of Israel, Did not I deliver you from the Egyptians yep. and from the Amorites and from the children of Ammon and from the Philistines, the, the Zidonians also, and the Amalekites and the Maanites? Yes, yeah, see, the Lord deliver us from all these other nations, man. All right? And what Jake, they just, they got all they got is nothing bad to say about the Most High, man. They, hey, they, hey, they even tell you that in the world, man. If you ain't got nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all, man. If you ain't got nothing good to say, just you know, keep moving. And we got everything good to say, man. We got this gospel, man. Which this the good news, man. That's right. All right, go ahead. And the Maanites did oppress you, and ye cried to me, and I delivered you out of their hand. Yup. Yet ye have forsaken me and served other gods. Wherefore I would deliver you no more. Yeah, you you want to serve up? Uh, who's the god of uh, cobblestone? You niggas serve a goddamn cobblestone, man. That's the god, that's the fucking mascot for Muslim. The mascot, yeah, huh? Yeah, rock. <laughs> yeah that's, the, that's the mascot for, uh, for, for, for Islam. The mascot for Islam is a cobblestone, a rock. That niggas is serving a rock. You gotta be a rockhead nigga to serve a rock, man. Go ahead, man, keep going. It says, go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. So that's, in the time of trouble, Proverbs 1 and uh, 20, you can start at 22. The Lord gonna tell you niggas to go and cry to the gods you have chosen in the time of trouble, man. When martial law out here in the streets, man. When the economy crash, when they uh, uh, eliminate the, uh, the US dollar, man. All right? When they suspend the United States Constitution, man. That's what the Lord gonna tell you niggas to go cry to those gods. Go cry to, to, to uh, Buddha, all right? Go cry to, uh, to, to, to turn it around. Go cry to, uh, Cesare Borzil, man. You know, go cry to white Jesus, man. Keep going. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation, man. Uh-huh. Is that it? That's it, man. Go ahead, yo. It's Ezekiel 12 and 22. It says, son of man, what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel? Saying the days are prolonged and every vision faileth. All right, and that's Jake, man. All right, the days are prolonged and every vision faileth, man. Jake thinks that this shit gonna keep going on and on and on, man. All right, so like, and when, uh, and when the prophets are sent out there, you know what I mean, to tell them what's gonna happen, this is the type of attitude that the Israel Israelites have. They mock the prophets, man. All right, just like that nigga that walked past, he was just mocking the prophets. It's some bullshit. But, 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 talking about, and you notice it's always when you say something about a woman where Jake can't handle it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All right, so this nigga walked up and down the street not knowing he just condemned his own soul, man. That's right. All right. Well, I got some more, That's man. Right. He was talking shit about the nigga woman, and she standing over there like, oh, they ain't nobody. They ain't nobody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't, we ain't nobody, cause we not, we not promoting ourselves to be somebody. We promoting you. How about Shimi on Shah? That's who we promoting. He's the somebody, man. We ain't. How I said, we ain't nobody. You right? We ain't no goddamn body, man. No, you got it up. It's verse twenty three. It says, "Tell them therefore 
Thus saith Yahweh Bashim al Shai, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. Yep. But saying to them, the days are at hand, and the effect of every vision. Meaning the Lord, he gonna cut that shit short, man. All that goddamn proverbs and shit y'all niggas be talking. You know, the Lord gonna cut that shit short, man. Yeah, hey, you, yeah, go ahead. Stop. We had the video on there yesterday. You talking about how like uh, them proverbs is uh, like, the Lord been coming since I was a little kid. That's some of them yeah. problem old sayings, man. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, uh, you know, God is love. Like everything that's contrary to the scriptures is a proverb in Israel. Ain't that a bitch? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Every All the proverbs of the Israelites, two thirds of the nation of Israel are, are completely perverse. All right, to the truth, the, the truth of the scriptures, man. All right, but like the most I said, you gonna cut that short, man. All right, you ain't, it's gonna be a time out here. You're not gonna be able to use them old proverbs, man. All right, when it's when it's a famine, you ain't gonna be able to say niggas been saying that all. Because it's gonna be evident. Yeah, it's, yeah what you gonna, how you gonna buck up? Nigga, right. you hungry, man. It's you know gonna be, saying? it's gonna, hey, that's what I'm supposed to say, even, it's even at the door. Yeah. It's gonna be right when you open the door, you go, <laughs> it's shit right there in your face. That's how it's gonna be, man. You know, go ahead. Ezekiel chapter 20, verse 32. Yep. And that which cometh into your mind should not be at all. Yeah, yeah, and that would come into your mind, because what, what niggas think, man? Niggas think that they gonna live in America. Niggas think that they gonna get a good, and these, and these middle class niggas think this way. Niggas in the hood, they niggas, I don't know what they thinking about. They just think about the next bitch they gonna hit, how they gonna get a, another blunt to burn, you know, or lick they gonna hit, you know? That's what niggas is thinking, go ahead. That ye say, we will be as the heathen, as the families of the country to serve wood and stone. Oh, that's what that nigga said. Read that again, man, Baba Kusha. This is Ezekiel chapter 20, verse 32. And that which cometh into your mind shall not be at all. It shall not be at all, man. Everything that you niggas is thinking what y'all about to do and what y'all about to accomplish, if it ain't going back to your how about you shot coming back to the law, that's the commandment, repenting for your sins and getting your life together, if you ain't thinking that, it shall not be. Go ahead. That ye say, we will be as the heathen, as the families of the countries, to serve wood and stone. Wood and stone. The fucking mascot for Islam is a cobblestone, man. And that nigga talk about he a Muslim, Sudi, whatever it is, Sudanese boys and all that other shit, man. That shit gonna come to naught, man. The Lord said it shall not be. Go ahead. As I live, said the Lord, the most The high. Lord is saying this, man. Go ahead. Surely with a mighty hand yep. and with the stretched out arm and with fury poured out will I rule over you. Yeah, the Lord said with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and fury poured out. I mean, the Lord about to get in you. The Lord about to put his foot up the next two thirds of our uh, people. He about to put up and put his foot up their ass, man. That's right. That's what it yeah, 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 that's right. Go ahead. And I will bring you out from the people and will gather you out of the countries wherein ye, ye were are scattered with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out and I will bring you in the wilderness. Now that's cool right there, man. Oh, so the Lord said he gonna bring us out of the uh, out of the midst of the people, man, where we are scattered. Because the Israelites, we scattered everywhere, man. We scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Israelites look like Chinese men, Japanese men, all right? Israelites look like so-called white men, all right? Uh, East Indian men. Go ahead. I'll... Just a little bit more. No, you good. It's Ezekiel, I'm gonna have to 27. Ezekiel uh, 12 and 27. Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, the vision that he seeth is for many days to come. Yep. And he prophesied of the times that are far off. Yeah, and that's what Jake say, man. Cause we out here doing this. They saying, that's what they saying. Even the old Jakes, man, the elderly of our people, they saying that, oh, the Lord ain't coming back for another the, the 500 years, man. That's because Jake, they comfortable in the situation. They comfortable being on the bottom. They come, man, you, man, hold on, man. You 60 years old, you got your wife with you and y'all both riding the bus. Yeah. How the, f and you, and you talking shit against us, man. All right? That shit just don't add up, man. It just don't add up. You niggas don't have nothing in this society, but yet and still y'all want to stay here like y'all got a 10 bedroom house and y'all live in a goddamn gated community and ain't got to worry about where your next meal coming from, man. We at the bottom of the totem pole, man. And all our people want to do is be just like the so-called white man. Man, what, you got some more on that? Get that uh, Proverbs. Yeah, get that. Which one is going Yeah, yup. You can start there. It's Proverbs 1 and 20. Yeah, Proverbs 3 and 5. It says, Wisdom crieth out. So like you. Wisdom crieth without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. Yeah, that, and that's what we doing. See, we had a wisdom, man. All right, because the scripture said what, man? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So we fear the Lord, so that means that we had a wisdom, man. 
all right? And wisdom cried with, without, man. She uttered her voice in the streets. And that where we at? We in the streets, ain't we, man? Go ahead. It says she cried in the chief place. And that's what we doing. We crying, man. We crying to our people, man. Go ahead. She cried in the chief place of concourse. The chief place of concourse. This is the chief place of concourse. All right. Any, uh, what is this shit called? Downtown. All right. Any, any city in America, when you go uh, downtown to that city, that's the chief place of concourse. All the, uh, you, you got all the, uh, the, 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 the red line, the green line, the blue line, all them, uh, uh, they, they, they meet up here. All the buses, they come here. You know what I'm saying? This the chief place right here. Go ahead, I. It says, uh, in the openings of the gates, in the city, she uttered her words saying, how long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity, man? It's simple to walk around with your pants hanging off your ass, man. All right, it's simple to uh, just, uh just, just, just blurt some shit out, but you don't have no understanding of none of the words that you're saying, man. All right. Holidays. Yeah, it's, it is simple to celebrate Christmas, man. You niggas is going broke to yeah, like trying to keep up with the Joneses. Mm -hmm. The Joneses, the so-called white people, and you niggas is going broke just to keep up with them, man. And then, man, here it is, man. You niggas will tell your goddamn kids that a fucking, a so-called white man brought them them presents, man. Broke well, you goddamn home. grinded tooth and nail, blood, sweat, and tears to get them these goddamn toys or the thing that they, they ask you for for Christmas, and you give all the credit to a goddamn a white man? What is wrong with you people, man? I believe it was the, uh, when it the Babylonian captivity where Jeremiah had wrote that, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, in, in chapter 10, man. Mm -hmm. All right? And he specifically said, don't do that shit, man. Mm -hmm. all right? But, you know, so-called white man that put a uh, twist on it, it's Jesus' birthday, all right? The Bible don't mm -hmm. even go off the... Well, who they call Jesus? The Bible don't even go off the Gregorian, Gregorian calendar, calendar, man. It's no, it's no, the word December not in the Bible, man. Nope. All right, so what, how, how the fuck, what is that, man? All right, but these are like the simplicity, man. Mm -hmm. Jake just look at Christmas because one of my family always tell me it's just about family and shit. Yeah. It's just about, a, no, it's about that, it's a wicked spirit in there, man. Uh -huh. My nigga singing Christmas carols and shit, man. Yeah, but shit wicked, man. Hey, fuck your family throughout the rest of the year, though, man. <laughs> yeah, no, I ain't fuck. I don't fuck with them niggas, man. Whatever, man. Cause that's you know? the point I made. I'm like, Thanksgiving, you can cook a motherfucking turkey in August. Yams, yeah. you can cook turkey, yams, and greens every day of the goddamn week. Oh, man. <laughs> and What's you can give presents every goddamn day of the week, too. Yeah. What about, what about the diet? What about the diet? Like, you know what I mean? Go into it. What? what? Like, you know what I'm saying? What we supposed sign. to eat? Get the yeah, sign. Oh, yeah. Get, get. Like they yeah, that is. Yeah, it, yeah. Eating, you know, That's it. Yeah. It fucked up. It uh, is. Yeah, but the scriptures say what? That we shall drink poison and live. Yeah. Yo, the Lord knew. Hey, get Ezekiel. Uh, what's that? Uh, Ezekiel the fourth chapter real quick. Hey, what does that word say? Your bread shall be good. Uh, yeah, that's Ezekiel the fourth chapter. Okay. Start at like uh, 11 or 10 right there. Yes. And then you get the sign with the, yeah, the food and shit. It says, uh, get, is... get, uh, what's that, Leviticus, uh, what's that, 11? No, 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 get Deuteronomy 14, that one better. Deuteronomy 14. 14, that's what I was going to Yeah, say. but these yeah. are the, these, this, this, all these, this is what we don't supposed to eat, so you can take a look at that. The brother going to read this. Ezekiel 4. Lift up, lift up. Yeah, four and uh, and the meat that I missed is not sure. It starts yeah, it fourteen and like ten. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's right. Ezekiel four and ten, and that and thy meat which thou shalt eat shall be by weight twenty shekels a day. Oh yeah, cause uh, during the time of our martial law, hey, what's that in uh, the apocrypha where it's talking about the uh, the storehouse shall be empty? Sixteen and like thirty two. No, I think it's, it's, it's around. Get go to apocrypha. Get. Uh, I think I said that right. You said what is it? I'm gonna type it in to make sure. It's it's it's. Oh, I'm sorry. Six and twenty-two. Oh, six. Yeah, six and twenty-two. Six and twenty-two. Six chapters. Slack like, yeah. it. See, Jesus' birthday ain't in, ain't, in, ain't in December, man. That's Jesus true. was born during the time of the Passover. Was in the time of spring. Everything dies in winter, man. Why the fuck would Jesus be born in the dead of winter, man? Everything no, dies here in the winter. The trees wither no, away. Man. The grass is dead. Everything dies in winter. Why the fuck would Jesus Christ be born in um in the dead of winter, man? That's a fucking lie, man. Can I can I say something right quick? Go ahead, Baba Kasha, Right quick, I gotta say something. Uh, D E C. Cause we right now they going off a of, off a of, uh, off a of Gregorian calendar, but D E C represents ten, you know, and it says here it got it says December got its name from the Latin word decim, which meaning ten, and this is found on Google, you know, as it reads here. I'm not sure if y'all you know what I'm saying pick it up, but like it says though, it says the Roman calendar and the tenth month. So how the hell if, if they calendar the Romans calendar ended 
in the tenth one, you know, the tenth month. Huh. What about these other, you know, what I mean, three days, dead, dead months, man? Where ain't no life springing forth for nothing, man. Yeah, what, what you want to say, man? Uh, and the, I, I was just thinking about the winter time, and you say everything dies. Right. Don't you think everything is preserved since like it's it's it's, it's colder? Cold. When, when something preserved, it gets cold. Like the, no, it's like, you know, like when a, you know, like when a snake shed its skin. Okay. Yeah. Right. You know, mm -hmm. it's basically like uh, replenishing itself. Like cycle. Yeah. yeah, it's a cycle. Yeah. It's a cycle. That's yeah. exactly what it is. Like, That's yeah. exactly what it is, man. Right, right. You know? But uh, which, where you was at? Uh, Ezekiel 4. Yeah, go ahead. Read that. Ezekiel 4 and 10. Yeah. And thy meat which thou shalt eat shall be by weight 20 shekels a day. Yeah, because it going to come a point in time where... The brother about to read it. Read, read what you got real quick. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 6, verse 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear on on sown. Yep. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. The full storehouses. That's talking about your Sam's Clubs, your goddamn Walmarts, your Aldi's, Giant Eagle, uh, uh, Save a Lot, all right, your BJ's. Those storehouses going to be empty. Go ahead. And the trumpet shall give a sound. Which when every man hear, they should be suddenly afraid. Mm -hmm. At that time, so friends fight one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear. That's during the time of Jacob's trouble, all right? Because it's a thing in the Bible uh, that's referring to Jacob's trouble, which is talking about these people on this side right here. It's going to come a particular point in time in, in history, in our lifetime, that it's going to be all out chaos out here, man, in the streets of America. You ever, what movie depict the chaos? That's what Give me a right movie. Right now. Yeah, the Purge. All right. Uh, what's that movie with uh, Samuel L. Jackson? Uh, the Kingsman or something like that? Y'all ain't seen that? Check. If y'all ain't seen the movie Kingsman, check that movie out. All right? Because it's a good depiction on how everybody's going to be wilding the fuck out, man. Even when Jake, like back in the day on the so-called uh, civil rights movement, how niggas used to be wilding out. Like, yeah, the Watts riots. You're going to see Jake out here in that spirit heavy, man. You know what I mean? In the whole world, man. I'm not, I'm not.